Okay. And do you charge for the University of Washington as a non-profit sector? Yeah, okay. yeah, we do. Mm -hmm. uh, we charge less for non-profits and hey, hey, good for uh, non-profits and educational. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because that's part of us giving back. <laughs> so, a little background on our company is uh -huh. me and my uh, my friend Tim, who's in our Chicago office. Mm -hmm. Uh, we were working in the dot-com boom days, mm -hmm. you know, of the late 90s. Mm -hmm. Everything was like Wild West. It was crazy. Lots of money, everybody with ideas. Well, what was happening with a lot of employees, mm -hmm. and this is happening in, in India and abroad now, in the Philippines, is that there's so much activity going on mm -hmm. that I could go in and, and work on this product mm -hmm. and then the product disappears and like, oh, hey, that product is now gone. We're trying this other thing. Okay. You know, work, 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 work. Boom. Oh, that's <laughs> gone. Oh, okay. And we just got tired of it, you know, getting, and then getting laid off so many times and flitting around. We wanted something more solid and something where we could give back. Mm -hmm. So we created this company to... Uh, create a good lifestyle for us because we were working 50, 60 hour weeks which is not fun <laughs> and uh, also so that we know that all of our hard work is really going for something good so we decided that with my experience with design and I, I did some coding but mainly it was design and strategy and his experience with programming that we made a great team mm -hmm. and we were able to start working with environmental nonprofits mm -hmm. around the Northwest, mm -hmm. and now we're doing, you know, much better. So, so that's why we're in, in it, and that's why we offer the discounts to nonprofits and educational. How many employees do you have? Our team is about uh, it's about twelve people. Twelve people have how many projects? Uh, at any one time, between. Uh, 18 and 25 projects. At the same time? Yeah. That's a lot. Yeah, yeah we're busy. You are, yeah, you're busy. Thank you for taking time for me, even you're busy. Uh, that's okay. Yeah. And I have a question. Uh, do you think it is enough to charge like less to non-profit sector? Because sometimes to work for non-profit sector cannot charge a lot, so it sometimes have a problem about like the revenue. Or right, or right. Yeah, that's a great question. So, I think a lot of people believe that because we work for nonprofits, we don't make any money. <laughs> that's not true. We actually, you know, we make a pretty good living. You know, we would be making more if we were doing for-profit work, mm. sure. But for us, it's worth it. You know, mm -hmm. so <clears throat> uh, my wife also works. Mm -hmm. She's full time at Adobe. <laughs> That's where we met. Okay. Um, and we have two kids. We have a great house. We have two cars. You know, so we have a good lifestyle. Yeah. Yeah. And um, the there's a lot of money out there going to nonprofits and educational institutions, mm -hmm. and it's a matter of. Making educating the nonprofit or the group in the school, in the UW, for example, it's our job to educate them on the value of the of paying for quality. Mm -hmm. So, I might go to a nonprofit and say, "Sure, I'll build that for two thousand mm. dollars," but it'll be kind of you know not very good work. You know, I would do it very quickly. I wouldn't spend a lot of time thinking it through. Mm -hmm. we, we don't work that way. Mm -hmm. My company will step in and say, to do this right, so that you do have the success that you want, you mm -hmm. do have the outreach, and you are getting the connections that you want, mm -hmm. um, you really need to think about all these aspects. And we're going to help you through that. We're going to help you create the stories and, and develop a beautiful website, but mm -hmm. also create a, a suite of tools that will help you manage your business mm -hmm. on the, online. And we do that with every client. You know, mm -hmm. We really make them think. And then finally, not finally, you know, often they'll say, oh, I get it. You know, I'm willing to pay a little bit extra uh -huh. to make sure that we have this good product. Mm -hmm. And we used to develop sites that, you know, just to get the money, you uh -huh. know, just to 
just to get the business. Mm -hmm. uh, but we weren't finding that we liked mm -hmm. doing that kind of work because it felt rushed and, mm -hmm. you know, you kind of have to cut corners and mm -hmm. skip steps. Mm -hmm. So we don't work like that anymore. And, and mm -hmm. actually, that's how we're recognized mm -hmm. now is for doing quality work. So even though our rate isn't very much compared to for profits, mm -hmm. we still make a, a good living. And so we feel that, you know, it's fine. You know, everything is justified. Mm -hmm. um, and then I think the other part of your question was, do we feel that it's enough to simply give this discount? Mm -hmm. And the answer to that is no. Mm -hmm. um, we want to give back more. Mm -hmm. So we are thinking of developing other products mm -hmm. that we would then either give away or sell for very cheap. Mm -hmm. Um, and we're always trying to make sure that what we do offer is not uh, overly expensive. Mm -hmm. So we always try to give more for less money. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah, okay. Um, and then I do a lot of free stuff, you know, not really so much volunteer, but I will help a lot of nonprofits just think through. Are they university get, students or something? No, let's say that. Um, Okay, for example, an organization called me yesterday, mm. and we had an hour-long conversation. Mm. Whereas if I was a true consultant, I would say, you know, my, my time is worth money. Mm -hmm. You pay me, you know, $250, and mm. I'll sit with you for a couple mm -hmm. hours. I don't work that way. So what I'll do a lot of times is uh, step in with an organization and just hear them out. Because mm -hmm. listening is it's a talent, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so really listening to what they're trying to achieve and then offering advice, mm -hmm. you know, giving them at least some high level strategy, answering questions, you mm -hmm. know, that's difficult, but this would be easy, mm -hmm. you know, and um, helping them understand a direction to go, whether they end up working with us or not, it's not a big deal to me, mm -hmm. because for me it's, you know, I'm a salesman, that's mm -hmm. my role, mm -hmm. so of course I want to get the business, but that's not what it's all about, it's about doing good stuff. Mm -hmm. Doing good work, and um, so I've given, I've uh, done classes, for example, uh, for free. Mm -hmm. uh, I've done a bunch of classes uh, on technology mm -hmm. and the internet, mm -hmm. um, and I attend seminars and I present at trade shows mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So, all in all, you know, I know I could be making a lot more money if I was working in the for-profit sector, mm -hmm. but. I'm finding a lot of fulfillment working for nonprofits, and it's very, very interesting. It you is. know, so I mean, you know that. I know. <laughs> and there's so many interesting ideas and really smart people. Yes. You know, creating innovation. Yes, and so. if you have to contribute to the society. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Mm. So. Does your wife want to? work for your company, not for Adobe or not for the profit sector? Yeah, so she, 